This is problem 16 from the 2008 test. This problem says there is a huge rock in the shape of a cube and you want to determine the, the mass, the weight of the rock. So some small pieces of the rock get knocked off and of those small pieces their total mass is 50 grams, their volume is 25 cubic centimeters or uh, 25 milliliters. And then also the whole big giant entire rock is 10 meters side length. Perfect cube. The question asks, determine the mass of the whole big in, uh, giant entire rock in kilograms. So the property or the principle that you're going to apply in this problem is the idea that the density of a substance is the same regardless of sample size. So what you're going to do is use the smaller sample size for which you have the, the mass and the volume and determine the density for that small sample size. And then you're going to apply that to the big, uh, whole big entire rock for which you can determine its volume but don't know its mass. So we're going to start by determining the mass I'm sorry, determining the density of the chips, the small sample. Density is calculated by taking the mass in grams over the volume in milliliters. The mass is 50 grams. The volume is 25 cubic centimeters, which is the same as a milliliter. 25 milliliters. Actually, it's probably going to be useful for us to leave these units in cubic centimeters. And I'll show you why when we get um, further in the problem. So this is going to be 50 divided by 25, 2.00 grams per cubic centimeter, keeping three significant figures, which was the smallest number of sig figs in the problem that we were working with. That density, that's the density of the small rock chips, it's also the density of the big entire rock sample. The, for the big sample, we know the density and we can determine its volume because its side length is 10 meters and we know that it's the shape of a perfect cube. So all we have left is to look at the mass. Let's look at the density equation and rearrange it to serve our purposes. Density equals mass over volume, so the density times the volume equals the mass. The density that we have is in grams per cubic centimeter, and the volume that we're going to calculate is going to be in terms of cubic meters. So we are going to have some unit converting to do. Let's start by calculating the volume. The volume of a cube is going to be the side length cubed. which is going to be 1,000 cubic meters with three sig figs is what it should have. The way it's written here, it's only showing with one, but we we'll want to retain that, keep that, that in mind as we work through the problem. And we have a choice in solving this problem. We do need to have these two units, the cubic meters and the cubic centimeters. They need to be the same. We have a choice of either converting this to cubic meters or this one to cubic centimeters. So we'll go ahead and do this one. Uh, but you could have gone with either one and you'll end up with the same answer. And here, we want to cancel out units of meters and convert into units of centimeters. And we want to do it three times because it's cubed. Cubic meters cancels out with three meters on the bottom. And knowing our understanding of the metric prefixes, one centimeter is 10 to the negative two meters. And that's going to give us 1.00 times. 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cubic centimeters.
And so now we're just going to use this equation right here that we derived from the density equation. The mass is equal to the density times the volume. The density is 2 grams per cubic centimeter. The volume is 1 times 10 to the 9th cubic centimeter. I don't know why I dropped those sig figs off. The units of cubic centimeter will cancel. and We're going to end up with 2 times 10 to the 9th grams. The problem wants us to, to give the answer in kilograms, so we'll need to do one more conversion, grams to kilograms, putting grams on the bottom so they cancel, kilograms on top. The prefix kilo means 10 to the 3rd. So this is going to be 2 times 10 to the 6th kilograms.